Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Right Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, you can head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. I also want to remind you to check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Transdermal C Balm, and the award-winning Truth Transdermal C Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. Now our Truth Biomimetic Priming Mist is also available at truthtreatments.com, made with fulvic minerals, plant-derived fulvic minerals. The skin is an electrical system. Anything you could do to improve electrical conductivity to the skin surface, to the skin cells themselves, is going to improve skin health. And fulvic acid is the quintessential electrically active mineral. It is... In, uh, it is described as a polyelectrolyte, not just an electrolyte. Fulvic acid and fulvic minerals are polyelectrolytes. That is, they conduct electrical energy at various frequencies. Incredibly helpful for inflammation, for anti-inflammation, for redness, and for driving active materials into the skin, into the skin cells, when combined with the uh, fulvic acid, fulvic minerals in our biomimetic priming mist. You can find that all about it at truthtreatments.com, Truth treatments.com. Okay, so we've been talking cell membrane and the fats that compose the cell membrane. All disease is cell disease and all cell disease is a function of the cell membrane. Sick cell membranes mean sick cells. The health of the cell is dependent on the health of the membrane. That means if you got a messed up membrane, you're going to have a messed up cell. MLR therapy, membrane lipid replacement therapy, is uh, where they use literally cell membrane nutrients as supplements. Specifically, they'll use omega-3s and omega-6 fats. They'll use derivatives of of omega-6 and omega-3 fats and lecithin as well. It's called membrane lipid replacement therapy. I never never thought of my... uh, the bright side protocol as being an MLR therapy protocol per se, but I've always said... It's all about the fats and the fatty nutrients, the essential fatty acids, as well as fatty vitamins, as well as fat processing at the level of the gallbladder and the liver and the intestine and the stomach and the pancreas. This is one of the major problems. One of our major, the major causes of our health issues is fat malabsorption problems, breaking down, utilizing, assimilating, digesting fats. And the signs of it, because fats are so important for building and for wound healing, the signs of it are chronic inflammation, chronic wounds that never heal, and a lack of building. 
That's basically what happens to us, and it all starts off at the level of the membrane and fats. One of the really cool functions of the cell membrane, specifically the components of a cell membrane, the building blocks of the cell membrane, is they control these building blocks that live in the cell membrane, control inflammation and anti-inflammation. They're your major control chemicals, your major leverage chemicals for the inflammatory process or the anti-inflammatory process. These things live in the cell membrane. The cell membrane is like a warehouse. It's like a storage, a storage facility, like an airplane hangar. And the, uh, the airplanes are built into the cell membrane, and when there's some kind of need, which is also triggered by chemistry, I don't, it's amazing how all that happens. I don't necessarily want to get into that, but the point I want to make is these anti-inflammatory and inflammatory chemicals live in the cell membrane. And then when, some, uh, when the need arises, they're released out of the cell membrane to control inflammation and anti-inflammation. And these, many of these, these infl inflammatory molecules or anti-inflammatory molecules come from omega-6s and omega-3s. In this way, omega-6s and omega-3s are your molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation. They're your, your nutrients of inflammation and anti-inflammation. They're released out of the cell membrane and get turned into inflammatory chemicals or anti-inflammatory chemicals. Another uh, fatty acid that does this is called arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is an omega-6 fatty acid. It's not essential. Your body can make it. Some people blame arachidonic acid for uh, a lot of health problems because it's a building block for inflammatory chemicals. There was a book that came out in the 90s, actually a really, really good book called uh, The Zone by a guy named Dr. Barry Sears. Barry Sears is an absolutely brilliant, over-the-top prescient biochemist, nutritional biochemist, and he wrote this classic book called The Zone, which is still a classic book. Um, I guess that's what a classic means. In any case, I still, have it, I, I still refer back to it all the time. If you want to get, and you can get it for like a buck off Amazon these days. It's called The Zone, and in this book, he, as Dr. Sears really ripped on arachidonic acid. He blamed arachidonic acid for a lot of problems. Actually, he didn't really blame arachidonic acid. People who read the book blamed arachidonic acid, and arachidonic acid got all this bad press, and uh, it, it's found mostly in meat and dairy and eggs and the kind of foods that we're, we're told we're not supposed to eat. But as it turns out, arachidonic acid is important stuff. Right? Yes, it's true, arachidonic acid is a building block for inflammation, but inflammation is not necessarily a bad thing. Interestingly, this stuff, arachidonic acid, is also a building block for an anti-inflammatory chemical. So arachidonic acid does both. Yes, it causes some inflammation, but it also has a role to play in anti-inflammation. And one of the ways it does that is, is by uh, activating something called endocannabinoids. Yes, endocannabinoids are anti-inflammatory. Arachidonic acid activates these endocannabinoids. That's what CBD is. I'm sure everybody knows about CBD by now. I've got a great CBD on my a CBD tincture on my website, brightsidehealth.com. CBD is activated by arachidonic acid, and CBD is anti-inflammatory, and wonderfully anti-inflammatory. And this is why CBD has such important health and really drug like benefits. It's only a matter of time. I and mean, drug companies are working on trying to figure out how to leverage CBD and other, uh, other uh, extracts or fractions of marijuana, of the marijuana plant, because they're so darn medicinal. Why are they so medicinal? Because they are mimics, they're analogs, they're chemical, uh, chemical, they're, they're part of the chemical family of uh, anti-inflammatory molecules in the body. So you're like taking your own anti-inflammatories when you take an endocannabinoid. It's the perfect drug. It, it's stuff that's made in your system but has powerful pharmaceutical effects. And the only toxicity that we know of with CBDs is you may, if you do too much and you have to do too much, you may get a little woozy because it's affecting your brain. Not like getting high, but you just may get a little woozy if, if you take too much. If you take a real way overdose on it, you may get nauseous. But for the most part, it's without toxicity, and it is very, very effective as an anti-inflammatory because it's part of the body's own anti-inflammatory chemistry. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want clarification or if uh, you read something or heard something you want clarification on or anything we're talking about here today, whether it's fatty acids or endocannabinoids, have you guys used, anybody use CBD out there? I'd love to hear what your, if, uh, if you're out there and you've used CBD, I'd love to hear what your experience with it was. I've seen amazing things with CBD uh, as far as taken internally, topically. It's also got some interesting uh, properties. There's an endocannabinoid system in the skin. The skin is very responsive. That is, skin cells are responsive to endocannabinoids. They're now being used in dermatology for topical issues. It's interesting how they work. They have a, a, a suppressant calming effect on the sk- in the body, on the skin, not, not uh, unlike what happens when uh, people smoke marijuana. It kind of has a calming effect or suppressant effect. Endocannabinoids are anti-inflammatory. They're calming. They're part of the fat system of the body. And by the way, the two, uh, I said earlier how uh, The Zone is one of the, one of the best books on fats. The two best books on fats, if you want to read about fats and the relationship of fats to health, uh, The Zone is more about fats and hormones and how uh, uh, working with a fatty system can help you work with the hormone system, specifically estrogen and progesterone and testosterone and insulin, all the major hormones. Dr. Sears goes into all the major hormones in The Zone awesome book on the relationship between fats and hormones. And then there's another book that's just like a Bible of fats, and that's called Fats That Heal, Fats That Kill by Udo Erasmus of Udo's Blend fame. The guy who came up with Udo's Blend, and the book is an absolute must-have for anybody who's interested in reading about fats. A little, just a hair on the technical side, but not really too, not totally overwhelming. Uh, Dr. Sears' book is more accessible, but that's more about hormones and fats. Those are the two best books on nutritional fats that I've ever read or two most uh, comprehensive books, uh, easy to understand books, I should say, on fats that I've ever read, and I can totally recommend those. So uh, endocannabinoids are part of the fat system of the body. You know you can have an endocannabinoid deficiency, by the way, and endocannabinoid deficiency can also uh, can be associated with things like fibromyalgia, migraine headaches, uh, digestive issues, anxiety, chronic pain. These can all... Uh, these can all uh, be the result of endocannabinoid deficiency, and it may have to do with defective cell membranes. Endocannabinoids arise from the cell membrane with, after a couple steps. They're not directly from the cell membrane, but they're related to the cell membrane. When the cell membrane is defe- defective, you may have an endocannabinoid deficiency. You may be suffering from things like migraine headaches and insomnia. And you know what else? You may be more prone towards self-medicating with uh, exogenous, outside the body, and uh, cannabinoids, things like marijuana. You may be more prone to smoking pot because you're anxious and you can't sleep or you've got chronic pain, and it may be an essential fatty acid deficiency. It may be defective cell membranes that are doing it. So I'm all for medicating if you're in pain. I understand that. I'm not saying I'm all for it, but I understand that. But your problem may be that you're not making your cell membranes correctly or your cell membranes are being damaged, which is very common. This is where vitamin E comes in. Vitamin E protects cell membranes. Actually, all the antioxidants, they're one of their major roles of antioxidants, whether it's vitamin E or vitamin C or selenium or alpha lipoic acid or uh, antioxidants that are found in veggies. One of their most important roles is to protect cell membranes. If there's some kind of toxicity in your blood, and then your, your cells are being bathed in toxicity, of course you're going to have defective cell membranes. Where does that toxicity arise from? It could easily arise from digestive health issues, from toxicity that's in the blood through uh, improperly or incompletely digested foods or food con- uh, undigested food particles. Undigested food particles that leak into the blood through a leaky gut. Undigested food particles or food intolerances or whatever kind of food problem you may have can cause stuff to get into the blood. That can cause stuff to get around the cells. That can cause defective cell membranes, and that can cause pain. 
for several reasons, and one of the most important one is when the cell membrane is messed up, these inflammatory and anti-inflammatory chemicals don't come out correct. What does this all, all mean? Work on your fats. Work on your gallbladder. Use digestive enzymes. Use probiotics. Fats, 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 fats. Now, I'm not, I don't mean to marginalize or be dismissive of the water-soluble stuff, the B vitamins and vitamin C and the electrolytes, but the fats are where the inflammatory are the main players in inflammatory inflammation and anti-inflammation, which is the, itself the main player in disease. This is where membrane lipid replacement therapy can be helpful. Membrane lipid replacement therapy uses lecithin and fatty acids, including arachidonic acid. You can try just using lecithin. Just get lecithin. Every, it's, it's a great supplement, lecithin. Non-GMO sunflower lecithin. It's a great supplement. It'll give your body the raw materials for making its own lecithin. Lecithin plays so many important roles in the body. Do you know bile is composed of lecithin part? Uh, so not, not only does lecithin help you, not only is lecithin part of the fat system of the body, but using lecithin as a supplement can help you absorb fats. It can give you the lecithin that you need for building cell membranes, and it can help you absorb fat so you have healthier cell membranes. It has two ways of working, and it's really cheap, especially if you have a, a problem with your gallbladder or don't have a gallbladder. So lecithin, laying off processed fats, that's another really important strategy for keeping your membranes healthy. Laying off processed fats, using only whole food unprocessed fats as much as possible, especially omega-6 fats, avocados, sprouts, seeds, wheat germ, wheat germ oil. You've got to be careful with oils, though. We, these, days, most, these days we get our essential fatty acids, or most of our omega-6 essential fats from grains, from vegetable oils. Both of these are really problematic. Grains promote obesity. They're GMO for the most part. And many, if not most people, are going to have some degree, at least some degree, of grain intolerance. Yet this is where most of us get, get our omega fats from, or omega-6 fats from. Vegetable oil, same way. Vegetable oils are, for the most part, processed. They're heated. And they're absolutely hideous to a cell. The wrong omegas are like... The wrong omegas, without the right omegas being present, are a complete disaster for the body. Because when the cell doesn't have the right omegas, it's going to take the wrong ones, the processed ones, the stiff ones, the distorted ones. And that is going to destroy the functionality of a cell membrane. That has got to be, if not the, the most important health challenge that we have as a culture, it is certainly in the top five or top three. I don't know what is more important. This idea that we're ingesting the wrong fats and, are, are not the, and, and we're not getting the right fats and we're ingesting the wrong fats and our cells are, our body's trying to make cells out of the wrong fats. And I've just spent two weeks, practically two weeks, talking about the importance of the cell membrane. Without the right fats, your body will make Hershey bar membranes. It'll make cheese whiz membranes. It'll make processed food membranes. It'll make do with the fats that it has. And that is a big, big problem. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, I'm Farm Spenny for 4236. 6010 is our number, 8442366010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, please call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or sign up off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can purchase longevity products off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Let's see here. All right, we've got a bunch of calls. 844 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. A uh, couple of articles here I want to tell you about. This is from 
This is from the Endocrine Society's 100th Annual Meeting in Chicago. Mediterranean diet is linked to higher muscle mass, bone density, post-menopause, after menopause. And that was uh, researchers reported finding higher bone and muscle mass in post-menopausal women who adhered to a Mediterranean diet than those who did not. This way of eating involves high intake of fruits and vegetables, grains, potatoes, olive oil, and seeds, moderately high fish intake, low saturated fat, dairy and meat, and regular but moderate drinking of red wine. Now, keep in mind, this is not the kind of study where they take, they actually look at biochemistry in the body. This is what's called an epidemiological study. All the Mediterranean diet, all the hullabaloo about the Mediterranean diet and also about other, about other diets are based on the science of epidemiology, which means you go out and you talk to people and see what they ate and see how long they live, basically. You interview people. You get data from what they tell you, or you look at uh, you look at how many how much grain was sold in a certain area, country, city, state, and then you extrapolate out that that data out and compare it to health statistics. It's not based on science, really. It's based on on statistics, on numbers. And so I'm not a big believer in these kinds of studies, epidemiological studies, and and the kinds of findings and conclusions that are drawn from them. Nonetheless, there is a lot of data to suggest that eating the Mediterranean diet way will, can help you live longer. I'm not saying yay or nay, I don't know, but I do know they eat a lot of oil. By the way, Longevity has a, uh, young, has a, uh, a Mediterranean diet in a bottle product called Sanovita. It's a drink that's associated with the nutrients that are in, that are in the uh, that are in the uh, Mediterranean diet, especially the olive extracts. Can't say I can't speak to Santa Vita. I don't know if anybody out there has used Santa Vita. I'd like to hear what you say, but that's uh, the latest and greatest longevity product. Why gut bacteria are essential for a healthy immune system? Most people are aware of how important it is for our well-being to have a healthy gut, which depends on healthy gut microbiota. In fact, few things disturb our daily routines more than a uh, malfunctioning intestinal system. I'm reading here now from, uh, this is from Medical Express. Why are bacteria important? Number one, they teach our immune system to behave. They educate our immune system from the time we're born. They tell our immune system what to respond to and what not to respond to. They train the immune system. They talk to the immune system. This is why health challenges as various as asthma, and autoimmune diseases and skin health issues like eczema and psoriasis benefit from probiotic supplementation and restoring gut health. Probiotics talk to the immune system. They communicate to the immune system. And if you have any immune problems slash inflammatory problem, there's a good chance that you got a messed up microbiome. All roads lead to the digestive system always. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Cliff in Canada. Good morning, Cliff. How you doing, buddy? Not too bad, sir. Yeah, I really like your show, eh? Thank like, you. I've I appreciate been it. Following it for years now. Nice. And like usually, I, I listen to it like in the morning because I work in the evening, and okay. uh, before I go to work. And like I've been trying to like gradually, you know, I had like basically high school biology, you know, and chemistry back in the 70s. And uh, and and basically what I did, so I, I had a limited understanding, but by listening to your show, kind of like brainwashing myself <laughs> in a way. Okay, like, in a good way. I've been managed to, um, in a good way, uh, I've managed to, like, totally change, eh? That's uh, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, like, I lost, like I'm telling you, like I used to weigh, I'm like five foot five. I used to weigh over 180 pounds. Now I weigh like around 137 to 139. You know. What'd you do? What did give me some steps? Give our listeners some steps. I did a lot of stuff. Well, one of them was actually like uh, you know cutting back on the meat, and then after that, uh, uh, like I gave up grain, like uh, wheat. Uh, okay. I read this book, uh, Wheat Belly. Okay. Uh, from Berry, I gave up wheat. Then, you know, I just gradually cut down my portion sizes. And one of the blessings for me actually was uh, small. Uh, I got a low wage, right? And I had to adapt, uh, like, to my wage. So first I didn't like that, but then I realized that I cut down my portion sizes. 
I tried to get like bang for the buck with everything I ate. Very and, nice. And I, like uh, I didn't. Eat, I don't eat any processed foods. Barely, hardly any at all. And and I prepare everything myself. And I don't. So this way, I avoid all the the bad fats in 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 everything people eat. You know, and then gradually, like uh, I started looking pretty good. You know, and in my job, I have to walk a lot. And and uh, so this actually is good for my health. So. No, but basically listening to your show really helps me, and it really keeps things simple, too. Now, even talking about the membranes and stuff, that's very helpful, too. Because is it? I really, that's all, yeah, all i got to do is... It's not too much in the weeds? You don't think it's too much inside baseball or too, too going know, down the rabbit hole? Yeah? It You're okay with it? Because if I can catch it, I'm yeah. a lot smarter than me. Okay, and that's good. And, that's and helpful. Also, no, but the thing what I like about the membrane is I know that all I have to do is concentrate on the membrane. Yeah, that's right. And that's and right. That's and, then, and then when you talk about the fats, too, and built the skin, right, I didn't see that at first. You know, that, that I didn't see that, that basically the skin is so important. And if I concentrate on the skin, then the internal organs, like, will work, you know. That's a great point. That's a great point. If you focus on using the skin as a diagnostic tool, you notice when your skin health challenges get better, your dry skin improves, your eczema improves, you'll know you're on the right track inside. That's a very good point. Yeah. Amen. And then also, uh, I'm thinking about like uh, even the you know I know I run into people too. They have autoimmune disorder. That's right. And I had like, a fair amount of like bronchial problems. Like I used to smoke. Like when I was younger, I gave that up years ago. But at the same time, like I, I noticed that like you were talking about autoimmune dis- disorder and stuff like that, defla- defla- uh, uh, like inflammation and stuff like that a lot. So basically what I'm thinking of doing is just to go on an inflama- anti-inflammation great. diet. great. Get, the, get the zone. Get get the book The Zone. He talks about okay. an anti-inflammatory diet. Get The Zone. It's an old book. It came out in the 90s, but you can still find it. You know, get it off well, Amazon. The Zone. Yeah. Dr. Barry Sears. Have you read it? Uh, no, I haven't. But, like, I'll look for it because I do. I, I kind of look at the books you say, and I look on Amazon. That was a blessing, too, because I got a Kindle, eh? And then, like, I can get my books for really cheap and immediately. So, it, nice. A- you can get. The, I'm sure you can get the zone on Kindle. Hey, uh, I got a. I got a commercial break. Did you have a question or anything, Cliff? Do you want to yeah, ask me? I was going to talk about like uh, SSRI with me. SSRIs. Okay, hang hang on. We'll take a break and we'll come back. We'll finish up when we come back. Don't go away. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Stay on hold if you're there, and we'll get to you when we come back from our break. You're listening to the bright side, and we'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We're talking to Cliff in Canada. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff. Good morning, Cliff. Good morning, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Finish up. Book, ha- I got finish this up. Book, uh, by Peter Bregan, Peter okay. R. Bregan, M.D., and it's about psychiatric drug withdrawal. Okay. Uh, I've been like uh, like uh, on psychiatric drugs a good percentage of my life, and and now gradually, um, like I was told, I would have to remain on them forever. But what I did was I I, I work. I have a full time job. I even go to school. You know, uh, like part time online, and okay. basically, what I've been doing is gra- I've been slowly withdrawing myself off everything, and then, uh, but over like a very small amount. And uh, what you know, were you I, on? Can I ask like, you what you're on? What, what, what you're, what, I was on uh, clonazepam. I was oh wow! On, like uh, even like Cyprexa, like uh, okay, large, uh, Modicaid injections, alcohol, you name it, everything. Okay. And then this was before. Now I'm on, uh, like, it was really hard to get off this stuff. Like, uh, I'm on, like, 2.5 milligrams of olanzapine per day, and, and that's it. And But basically, like, uh, what I've been doing is that, uh, like, I'm reading Brendan's book, and what I'm doing is, like, withdrawing myself slowly. But now I'm at the 2.5 uh, olanzapine level, which is there's nothing that comes smaller than that. Read and potatoes, it, not Prozac. Potatoes, not Prozac. Okay. Read Who's potatoes, out? not Prozac. Yeah, serot- you want to you want to upregulate your serotonin is what you're looking to do as you wean yourself off, and that'll okay. keep you, that'll keep you from running into problems. And you upregulate your serotonin with the sun, with carbohydrates, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and some of the building blocks, things like 5-HTP, maybe tryptophan, that kind of thing. Uh, okay. Also, also vitamin C, magnesium, zinc. These are cofactors that are involved in uh, yeah. the production of serotonin. So make sure you get enough of those. And relaxing, oh. lightening up. And yeah, also, uh, and, and also, like looking at the sun first thing in the morning. In addition to getting, make sure you're getting out and getting some sunshine. Looking at the sun first thing in the morning will jack up your serotonin first as when you wake up. Okay, and what what should I look for, like? Uh like negative effects, like I, I plan on with jitteriness, like when you get off of it, when you, when you yeah. start to get, when you get off of it. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, when you get off it, you, you're probably. No, talking, yeah, gradually, because I can't come off it like right away because I have a job. And uh, what I, I plan on doing is like 10% uh, with reduction over a period of time, followed by another 10% of the reduced amount. Make sure, make sure when you're weaning yourself off that you're simultaneously doing things to build your serotonin. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? So you don't go through <laughs> withdrawal hell. You know, yeah. I, I mean, that can happen when you, when you withdraw off of... Uh, well, I know. I know. Yeah. You know, so you want, to, uh, you want to make sure that as you're withdrawing, you are uh, boosting your serotonin naturally. Do you think clip- uh, a pharmacist, one question though. Do you yeah. think a pharmacist will, like, if I get the doctor, like, to go for this uh, 10% reduction, but uh, he'd have to compound the pills somehow? So that um, They can do that for you. They could put it in liquid. They could put it in drops or something. And that'd do that be no you. problem, right? That's no, well, no, yeah, no yeah, problem. No problem. They, uh, there are ways you could do that. formulas where the co- go to find a compounding pharmacist, tell them you want a solution of uh, yeah. a, a solution of it made, or suspension, actually, and then... Uh, and then just do a little bit, and that'll allow you to control your dose a little bit more effectively. Okay, that's great. This is what I'm going to do, and uh, I'm going to like, follow uh, your your advice too about uh, building your we, building yeah. your serotonin naturally. All right, I got to go, yeah. Cliff. Good luck with everything. Thank Thanks you, for your call. Appreciate it. Bye. Hey, take care, man. All right, let's go to Stuart in Colorado. Good morning, Stuart. How you doing, buddy? Good, really great, man. Great show as usual. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey. Uh, I have a friend uh, that was told that she has a spongy kidney disease or spongy like kidney F- disease. That sounds yeah, so poetic. That yeah, sounds so MS yeah. A or something too. So they have all these things, and basically they told her to get off help, all helpful foods. On all what kind of foods? All quality. helpful. So Help. It's yeah. basically the same dietary advice that they give people with uh, Crohn's and. Uh, uh, what's the other one? What, what did Where they tell you Where specifically? You what did, do you know what they told her? Uh, yeah, I have a text here. Let's I'm just wondering what they're telling people these days. Like leaf, leafy green. You know, Not to eat, to greens. stay away from, no leafy greens? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. What phytates, else? Phytates, I guess. <laughs> oh, the phytates. Uh, okay, all right. Sodium food. All right. Foods, all right, now this is, is this, a, was she born with this thing? Uh, yeah, was it a birth? What, of, that's what. That's what it all says, is that it's a birth defect. But I think it's calcification of the kidneys by It could be uh, anything. It could be fibrosis of the kidney. It could be a lot of things. Yeah. The kidneys, as I've said so many times, the kidneys filter the blood. When the blood becomes toxic, it's very, simp- very easy for the kidney to become damaged. The strategy for taking care of the kidney is to clean the blood. Even if it's birth defect, <laughs> excuse me, by cleaning the blood, <clears throat> you'll reduce the load. You, you'll reduce the harm on, done to the kidney. And so always think about cleaning the blood. The most like one of the most important toxins in the blood is sugar. So going ketogenic, keeping your carbs down, uh, lowering your blood sugar, anything you do to lower your blood sugar, drinking more water to dilute the blood, uh, making sure you're using your electrolytes, uh, things that stabilize the blood, uh, vitamin C, things that protect the blood, and vitamin C and vitamin E are protective in the blood. So making sure you're k- taking care of the blood is the most important thing. It all starts with the digestive system. If she's got any problem foods, uh, she's got to just have zero tolerance for them. The kidneys are obviously incredibly important. They're so important that God gave us two of them. And they're so important that there's redundancy in the kidneys to the point where you can have your kidneys can be like functioning at only 20 percent and you could be living your life pretty normally. So there's a lot of redundancy in the kidneys. You do have two kidneys. However, uh, your point is well taken that uh, sponge uh, uh, sponge kidney uh, medullary medullary sponge kidney, as they call it, MSK. That's 
right. Um, That's it. Yeah. Right. It, it can definitely have to do with calcium, and it can definitely have to do with dirty blood and uh, salts and minerals precipitating in the blood. Clean the blood for all kidney health issues. That's what you want to think of. All right. I want to get one more all call right. in, Stuart. All right. All right. All right. Thank all right. you. Take care, buddy. Have a great day. Let's go stay in Colorado and talk to Jim. Hey, Jim. What's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? Good morning. What's going on? Well, I was asking you a little bit about, uh, well, uh, let me just go back a couple callers. That guy that uh, couldn't, was on the psychotropic or psychotic right. drug, yeah, 2.5 milligrams. Why couldn't he just cut the tablet with a tablet cutter? You know, I don't know. I don't know if he had a, he could, the, those, have you seen, they're really small. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They're really small. So sometimes it's hard to cut them, but you're right. A tablet cutter would have worked. Uh, but, but I like the liquids because then you could take a, you don't, you don't have to keep cutting them. You can get down to like one or two drops. You right. can get down to a homeopathic dose with the liquid, which you can't do with okay, the, me, go ahead. Yeah, let me ask you about, uh, what is, uh, stage two kidney failure? What, uh, what is like that? How bad, uh, how significant is it? Yeah. Right. Um, you, you're, you've got more, you've got room to play there. I mean, you're not going to be in dialysis for now. I mean, you could turn this thing around. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. No, right. no, you're not. You're not like uh, you're not a kidney transplant guy or a dialysis guy, but no, it's I'm proceeding. The, I'm the PRP guy. Oh, you're the PRP guy, right? It's it's proceeding. Do you know? Have you heard of a platelet replacement there? A PR platelet replacement, something or another. Where there, is that? That's not what you're talking about. What, no. what are you talking? What, what's your PRP? Uh, you know, this uh, integrative uh, chiropractor that I went to. Oh, okay. Right? Yes. Now, after, stage... after I had all these blood tests done, he said, uh, you're in stage two kidney failure. Yeah. Stage two kidney failure is not, you, you've you got a mildly impaired kidney, mildly impaired kidney function. Um, so it's not like the end of the world there. You could definitely turn this thing around. It's not like you're going to lose a kidney or anything like that, or you're going to uh, be on dialysis. So, but you do, you do want to take measures. You know, you're already high risk because of that whole skin thing, right? So there's definitely contamination. Right. There's something going on in your system there, Jim. And you want to take care of it. You're, you're a relatively young guy, you know? So basically, you've got to figure out what is getting into your blood that's causing this kind of distress. And you're going to find almost always, as I told you, I mean, I hate to keep, you know, beat a dead horse, but you're going to find that almost always involves something you're eating, and the only way to know for sure, I mean, I can give you some general ideas, but the only way to know for sure is to fast, do a food diary, and then start to eliminate foods and see what, you, what happens. And it's not easy, but really, there's no other way to do it. Everything right. else is it's just you're going to be condemned to the medical model. You're going to be condemned to going yeah. to, and you're too smart to go to doctors, but you're going to still be going to alternative doctors. Now, where we have control over it, where we have leverages, is, is in how we're eating and how we live, we're living our lives. Jim, I got to go, buddy. Thank you so much okay. for your call. Appreciate it, man. Take yeah. care. And that's it. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol, uh, Transdermal C Balm, and Truth Transdermal C Serum, and our Truth Biomimetic Priming Mist, all up at truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.